Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are working on what I'm going to call a restoration project of an antique cedar wardrobe. So the story on this thing is that the grandfather of the lady that I purchased this from, uh, he had handmade this thing some number of years back, quite a, quite a while back. And then at some point, this person had inherited it from him. Now, they had had it for a while, and eventually they kind of decided that it just, it really wasn't something that they needed. But her son was about to have a kid, and he decided that it would work really well for them. However, he thought it would look much better painted. Now up until that point, of course, it was just natural wood kind of finished with probably tongue oil or something like that. And you know, showing off this beautiful cedar wood that was lying underneath, but he decided it would look better painted. So what he did is he ran over the whole thing with, it looked like maybe an orbital sander, kind of roughed it up a bit, and then promptly put a coat of paint on it. Now, after he got this whole thing painted, uh, he eventually decided that, you know, actually I don't think I want this thing after all. So now his folks were stuck with this painted cedar wardrobe, which they really didn't want to start with, even when it was natural finish. And now it was painted, so they decided just to sell it. And I got it for a pretty decent price. I paid like 30 or $40 for it. And I was pretty happy with that because since the inside was still unfinished, I could see that there was some beautiful wood underneath there. Uh, I just needed to get the paint stripped off and get that cleared off, refinish it with some, some natural finish on there and kind of restore it to its former beauty. So when I started scraping the paint off here, uh, I didn't think that I had any scrapers around. I kind of forgot to bring that out. So I was trying to use this metal ruler to kind of scrape that off there. And I eventually did find a small scraper and that worked a little bit better. Now, as I was looking back through the here, as I was editing, I realized I really didn't get a whole lot of footage of scraping this off, which in my opinion is kind of the coolest part of this entire process, but unfortunately somehow I missed that. I think probably because my hands were covered in goop that I was just trying not to touch the camera too much and inadvertently uh, didn't get much footage of scraping that off. Now, once I got about 95% of the paint off of there, this is when I realized that 
before the guy had painted it, it looked like he'd run a, a really rough grit orbital sander over this entire thing, just to, probably to help make the paint stick a little bit better. And this left a bunch of little curly Q scratches in the wood. And of course, after he painted it, the paint got down into these little scratches. And so the scraper did not get any of that little bit of paint off. And it was just a tiny, tiny little bit of paint, but it looked really bad. So my first idea was to try and put more of the paint stripper on there and then I went at it with some steel wool, but unfortunately that just wasn't able to get down in there. It did help get a lot of the remaining surface paint off from there, but it just wasn't able to get down into the scratches and then also anywhere where there were knots, uh, again, that kind of held onto that paint a little bit more, so I wasn't able to get uh, that out of there quite as well with the steel wool. So I picked up some wire brushes and these were just real fine wire brushes. I think it was a brass brush is what I was using for the most part. And that seemed to work really well for getting down in there. It didn't mess up the wood uh, because it was a finer, finer brush, um, but it did a, a really good job of getting down in there and cleaning all that paint out of the scratches, out of any cracks in the wood, out of the areas where there are knots and I was really happy with that. Now, even though it did come off very well with the brushes, it was still a whole lot of scrubbing, uh, a lot of elbow grease putting into this to get them uh, cleaned back up, and it's still not perfect because some of that paint was just down in such fine cracks and it was far enough down in there that I just wasn't really able to get it out. So there's, there's a few spots here and there where if you look at it just right, you can see a little bit of that remaining paint, but uh, overall, it, it came out pretty clean. So I decided to finish this with just an oil finish. I'm using tongue oil, and I think that's probably what it was finished with before. Uh, I did try doing a little bit of sanding on this uh, to try and get some of the paint off, and it was just gumming up the sander. So I think it had been finished with some sort of a, an oil-based finish before. So that's why I went with tongue oil on here and put just a couple coats on there and it came out with this real nice kind of wet look to it that brings out the grain in the wood and just really finishes off the, uh, the wood real, real nice. Now if you look closely here, uh, you'll notice that I didn't put on the same uh, doorknobs that were on it to start with and these are actually the original doorknobs that were on it. 
to start with. This was another thing that the son had changed, was he put on these sort of plasticky glass looking knobs. And so I went back to the original brass ones that uh, were on it originally. Fortunately, they still had those around and they sent those with me when I picked that up. So I, I reverted that back, kind of restored it to the original with those. And I think they look a whole lot nicer, uh, more uh, to the period of when this thing was built. Alrighty folks, that is it for that project. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's, it's not perfect, like I said. Uh, you can still see a little bit of paint here and there and some of the cracks, but it's 99.999% cleaned up and I think it looks really good. So as you may have noticed, kind of in the background of some of the, the audio from those clips, I've been working on this on rainy days when I haven't been able to get outside and work on some other projects. I've been busy trying to get firewood cut up for this winter and other things like that. So it's, it's been a really nice, fun inside project to be working on. So that is going to be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.